Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about the new Dior Spring Collection. This is called the Glow Vibes Collection and I picked up the eyeshadow palette called Blue Beat and the new luminizer highlight called Coral Vibes. Both of these are limited edition. So before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So in the collection, there are two eyeshadow palettes to choose from. There's one that's more of a blue tone one, the one that I got, and one that's more pinky and purple. Both are very pretty, but I decided to go with the blue one because these are just colors that I don't really have that much of in the moment. I'm especially intrigued by this dark teal color on the bottom. That's really what drew me to the palette, and I feel like I just bought a bunch of purple-ish eyeshadows like the Chanel Desert Dream Collection kind of is more mauve purple so I decided to go for something a bit more blue. Now this is clearly very pastel, very spring so I'm quite intrigued to see how these work. As for the highlighters there are also two to choose from. There's one that's more of a rosy color but I decided to go for more of this nice peachy hue. I'm really excited to see how this wears on my skin tone. Technically, it's a highlighter, but I'm going to see if it'll work as a blush as well. Now, I picked up these items at Holt Run Through, and they also had an entire display of these new lip oils. I picked this one up a few weeks ago at Sephora, but they have the entire collection at department stores as well now. This is part of the Dior Lip Addict. This is the Lip Glow Oil. And they also have a couple new Dior Addict lip balms, like just the classic lip balms. They have a few new colors for the collection as well. And online, I saw that they have some nail polishes that looked really beautiful for spring, but in store, I didn't see them. They didn't actually carry them at the Holt Renfrew, so... Let me know if you found the nail polishes at your department store because they were not available when I went to go check it out. And then there was also a backstage rosy glow blush that's supposed to adapt to your skin color. I just swatched it on the back of my hand and I did not like it. It just didn't show up on my skin tone at all, like zero. There was nothing there, so I skipped that one. It can be confusing because sometimes we see the promos and the photos online and it shows the entire collection. I definitely recall seeing two of the backstage rosy glow blushes. There was a pink one and more of a corally one and I thought for sure I would get the coral one but I could not see it in store. And same with the nail polishes. I was really excited to see them because they just are pretty and I love nail polish but they didn't have them. So I'll keep an eye out and see if maybe other department stores get them or maybe Holt Run Through will just get like a new batch of products soon but anyway this is what I got for the time being. All right let's dig into this palette. I'm going to start off by going into this beautiful teal color and I'm going to start by packing it on the outer corner of the mobile lid and then we'll blend afterwards. Okay so first stop this is quite opaque. This is just one little dabble and it's really coming out, which is exciting because sometimes colors are not always true to the color we see in the pan. Now, using a separate blending brush, I'm just going into the crease here and blending this out. I have to say that this texture feels a little bit different. It's a matte, but it doesn't feel like a total flat matte. It's interesting, it's not the same eyeshadow texture that I'm used to, so... Yeah, like I said, it's not a flat matte, but it's also not a shimmer either. Maybe a very, very soft satin finish is the best that I can describe it. I'm going to go ahead and just lightly dip into that mint green color. Just to help blend this out. And then taking a clean blending brush, let's just buff this out because this is quite a dark color. We really want to make sure that we blend it out because we don't want to look like, you know, too much. Although being extra is nice, it's just, you know, picking the time and place. I forgot to mention, when I was at the store at Holt Renfrew, Through, I did get a couple samples of perfume. I got a sample of the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet Eau de Toilette, and I also got a new sample of the Miss Dior 
rose and roses eau de toilette perfume here now i know that they do like a new revised version of miss dior every now and then and this rose and roses one i can't get over it because when i see rose and roses my brain reads guns and roses and like no matter what i do i see this and it says guns and roses that's it now this isn't eau de toilette but it's actually quite intense it's very floral it's they have a lot of roses in there i think there's like two types of rose and there's also some musk in here as well but it also has some top citrusy notes something like mandarin and bergamot but there's also more florals in the top notes so i think it's geranium so it's a very floral perfume but it's actually quite light and fresh it is really nice i do really enjoy it even though the name is guns and roses in my mind it's still a really nice light beautiful perfume for spring it is a eau de toilette and i think that most perfumes you do have to try them out on yourself and your skin just to see how it reacts but i do think it's quite nice especially if you are a dior addict if you like the whole miss dior collection you probably will enjoy this one okay let's go into the pink color because this whole thing to me just kind of screams cotton candy so i'm going to go ahead and use that pink color and place it on the inner part here i'm going to use one of the sponges that came with because i find that these little sponges are actually great when you just want to pack color these sponges are not good for blending by any means but when you just want to get as much product densely on an area these are really great i'm really happy with the aesthetic of this collection i got the holiday collection as well the one i got the palette called party in colors the most beautiful rainbow assortment of colors i'm so happy i got it but I was just happy to see a new collection from Dior that I really loved because I skipped the fall collection last year. The whole aesthetic and the colors were just not for me. It was a lot of gray and like cool tone gray and just it didn't work for me. It worked for a lot of other people and it looked really beautiful on them. But it was just something about the colors that just didn't call to me and there's no point in buying something if I don't like it. So at least with this one here, I'm happy with the whole aesthetic. I'm just going to go over this part here. So I have to say, there is a tiny bit of fallout with the dark blue teal. Nothing extraordinary, but just what you would expect with such a dark color. And I don't think I'm noticing any fallout with the light pink color. I'm going to go ahead and take a small tapered brush and go into that dark teal shade and just trace it under the bottom lashes here. All right, let's go ahead and do the face makeup and we'll finish up the eyes afterwards. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 5.5. I will be going to Seattle sometime in the near future, which is very exciting because I have never been. I've been to San Francisco a whole bunch, but I am definitely ready to see a different part of the American West Coast. And apparently in Seattle, that is where they had the very first Nordstrom's, which is, or Nordstrom, I should say. Um, so I'm excited to go see that, obviously, makeup shopping. And of course, the very first Starbucks as well. I'm not sure if I'll actually go into the very first Starbucks. I might just take some photos from outside because from, from what I'm reading online, it gets quite busy there, which, you know, makes sense. It's a tourist attraction. For the concealer, I'm going to go into my Clé de Peau concealer in the shade called Almond. So I am impatiently waiting for the new Chantecaille collection to come out here in Montreal. I don't think it's available yet. The person that I speak to at the Chantecaille counter at Holt Renfrew told me that she is currently or was just in Texas for training for Chantecaille. So hopefully it'll be out soon. I've seen some photos, I've seen one video online and it just looks so beautiful. Like the hummingbirds and just the whole aesthetic of that collection just looks so beautiful in spring. So I can't wait to get them. And they had a whole bunch of new lip veils. I don't know if they call them something different, but you know, those like sheer hydrating lipsticks, they had I think four new colors, which is very exciting to think about. I'm going to go ahead and just touch up a little bit of this dark shadow underneath because it did move around a little bit with the makeup. 
Okay, so for the bronzer, I'm gonna go into my terracotta bronzing palette and I'm gonna use the two bronzing colors here. Okay, now let's dip into this beautiful luminizer here. It is technically a highlighter, but I wanna see what it would be like as a blush because it, I don't know, I'm just curious. It does not work as a blush for me. It's definitely a highlighter, but as a blush, it doesn't work. Let's go ahead and use a real blush. I'm gonna go into my Chanel Joux Contrast number 72, Rose Initial, and use that as a real blush. Okay, let's go ahead and try this again as a highlighter. So it is definitely a highlighter. I don't know why I thought it might be a blush. I was just curious. It is pretty intense. It's really easy to pick up a lot of product on the brush but it does really diffuse into a really nice rosy color. In the pan, it does look more orange, more coral, but when you apply it, it looks much more like a nice golden peachy color. Now I'm gonna dip into my eyeshadow palette again. I'm gonna go into the lightest color in the palette and I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my Chanel Stilo Zier number 88. And I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit on the top waterline here. And then I'm gonna go into my mascara, the Volume de Chanel, and then finish up my eye look. So for the lips, let's keep it pretty neutral. I'm gonna go ahead and use my lip oil. I have the color called Cherry. So there's a few things that I wanna talk about. First of all, I really like these colors. I like this whole teal and pink cotton candy look. I think it's really cute. It's very spring, very girly. This entire Glow Vibes collection screams feminine, spring, girly. But there are a few things I wanna mention. First of all, I feel like some of the colors in the palette are very powdery compared to other Dior textures that I've worked with in the past. When I compare the Dior Party in Colors palette that I have here, these textures feel very buttery. They're very shimmery, but they're very buttery and creamy and very smooth. These ones all feel different. They feel a little bit more powdery and chalky. They're not awful. They're not terrible to blend. As you can see, I used the, dar the darkest, more matte color and it did blend, but I find that there is a difference in texture and I'm not sure why. I don't know if they do different textures for different collections, but this one definitely does feel different than the holiday collection, which I think is kind of a shame because I definitely have purchased a lot of Dior palettes that have this type of texture and I always love them because even though they are super shimmery they're just like such a dream to blend and this does look great and it did blend but just the texture in the pan and also just swatching feels different so just keep that in mind and something to note I have here one of the older Dior luminizers which is a highlighter this is a few years old but the packaging of this is very different it feels much more hefty than the new packaging. The old one here has a metal bottom where this new one here has a plastic bottom. It's just like a small thing that I've noticed. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, but it just makes it feel a little bit lighter. And I feel like when you buy luxury makeup, one of the indicators is the weight and like the heft. Like when you buy something and it's like weighty and like lots of packaging, you're like, ah, luxury, I get it. And one thing I noticed too is that these new luminizers have like a colored bottom here, but it's not an indication of the product because I have one of the uh, luminizer blushes that came out last year and it's the same color. So you'd think that they would at least change the bottom here to match the inside of the product. Those are just some observations that I made. Okay, so overall, I think that the highlighter is really beautiful. If you need a new highlighter, need is a strong word, but if you're in the market for a nice, really beautiful golden peach color, it's much more light than the packaging would make you think because when you see it in the pan here, it looks almost like orange or you think it's going to be almost like a blush, like it looks that dark, but it's really not. It's just like a really beautiful golden peach color. And I do like the palette. I do really like that dark teal. That was the one that drew me in and I'm glad that it's performing how I want it to. I just wish they had that same texture as the holiday collection. So I think this one is really up to you. These are definitely very light pastel colors. Some people love pastel colors, others don't. It's really up to you to decide 
if this is something you need. I think that this whole cotton candy look is very cute, but I could understand that it's not for everyone. So those are my thoughts on the items that I purchased from the Dior Glow Vibes collection. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this entire collection. Have you picked up anything? Which items did you buy? Which items did you skip? Let us know. If you happen to enjoy today's video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Feel free to share my videos with your friends. It definitely helps me out a lot. And if you like this type of content, I do lots of reviews and tutorials of luxury makeup. So subscribe, stick around and join our community. So I think this is all I have for you guys for today. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.